it makes me sad. Everything makes me sad in this game. So let's let's finish this up. Let's finish this up so I can go in a corner and cry. Nix, listen to me. Our duty now is not to denounce Hermes for his misguided determination, or to convince Emmett Salak and Highflo that they have been deceived. No, I want to convince them. Let me talk to my friends, please. Let me talk to them. Okay, so Hades is his real name. Yeah, he doesn't have a, a title because he decided not to join the convocation. He was supposed to get Emmett's, uh, Emmett's seat. And then he was like, nah, fam, let's not do this. Let's give it to this guy. Is this gonna make me feel worse? I thought I was just gonna wrap this up. We, we started. I, I, I started it. We have to get through this now. It's it's fine. Oh, it's okay. It's, it's okay. Okay, wait. Let me, let me drink something. But to be fair, my makeup is already ruined. At least next week, I'm not gonna starve with a crying face. It's okay. No, we must instead ensure that the experiences Hermes sought to expunge or preserve. What remains in our memories alone will be our weapon against the final days. We must fight this battle in your age and in mine. Come, let's walk together once more. I will see you to the doors of Propylion. I hate it here. Uh, where am I going? All the way over there. Okay. I gotta walk there. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's fine. All right. I'm okay. Yes. Dude, I don't want to start next week with a crying face, okay? We're doing this now. My makeup is at least to be good for at least the start of the stream, okay? <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. We can do this. I'm already emotionally wrecked. It's, it's okay. Could be much worse than this. Could be much worse. <sighs> okay, uh, do I have to go? I have to go up the stairs. Leave me alone. Is she just gonna like bump me back into the present? That's the, that's the big question. Because nobody ex actually explained to me how the fuck I'm going back to the present. The shoes? No. My, my pet is here. My emotional pet is sitting in front of me, looking at me. Okay, okay, let's go up. We also don't know how High Flow died. I'm, I'm not gonna ponder that. He, he, he's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. We've, I don't even want to know how High Flow dies. It's okay, it's fine. You probably get sacrificed with Zodiac or some bullshit, it's okay. Your time in this age is drawing to an end, yeah, sadly. Upon speaking to Vanilla, several cuts in my head, it's okay. You recommend that you set aside- okay, it's- HIT ME! HIT ME WITH THE SHIT! It's okay! Let's go, let's go. So... It is within. The portal that brought you hither. Have chocolate. Let me eat some and will chocolate. take you home. How do you know where my home is? I should stay and help. L let me help. Please, please don't send me back. Please. I appreciate your sentiment. I truly do. But tis a very long game that we must now play. <laughs> I've been playing this for over 400 hours, what do you mean? And while you have maintained a stable presence here thus far, there are dangers in lingering over long. No, you must return to your own battlefield. Make use of the knowledge you have attained 
that your days here and our friend's sacrifice be not in vain. Yeah, the sacrifice. I I killed them. Me. I I am I am the I am the danger to society. With Meteon free to pursue her designs, it is only a matter of time until the final days are upon us. We must be ready. From fortifying our defenses to securing our escape, there is much to be done. In spite of this, we cannot allow the report that set this calamity in motion to become common knowledge. Were the masses to learn the fates of the other stars, I fear the situation would spiral out of our control. I must carefully consider who can be trusted and bring them into the fold. I would go with High Flow and Emmett. I don't know. They seem trustworthy when we talk to them. Maybe don't, don't, don't tell Hermes. He lost his bonkers the first time. Maybe don't do that again. Ordinarily, I wouldn't hesitate to call upon the 14. However, it was the desire for a fair determination that drove Hermes to attempt to erase our memories. And were he made aware of his actions, there is no telling whether he would remain a friend or become a foe. Yeah, I can answer this to you because he tried to kill me in the future. Alternately, we might try to alienate him from the convocation. Yet in doing so, we would deprive ourselves of a brilliant mind who would be invaluable in the crises to come. Honey, honey, did we, did we just encounter the same person because he lost his marbles? It's still the same person! What is wrong with you guys? It's the same with High Flow when we were like following him up, be like, do you think we should still ask him to be like Van Daniel? I'm just like, I, I... Do you want your own demise? Is, do you want it that badly? Quite the dilemma. It's not a dilemma! Which is why I must work independently of the convocation. Regardless of how we proceed, if we are to permanently avert the final days, we must be equal to Hermes's challenge. We must prove that mankind is worthy to exist. And this hinges, I think, on how we confront the all-consuming despair that accompanies a senseless and seemingly inevitable end. Bewildered and divided, we would perish like the peoples of those celestial ruins. We could not hope to survive the final days, much less take the battle to Meteon at her nest. Yeah, you guys, um, spoiler alert, you are not surviving the final days. We must find a way to defeat despair, to unite and prepare as many as possible for the struggle ahead. Heavy will weigh the burden of guiding this legion of souls. Yet I have faith in mankind's potential. As long as he believes in himself, there is naught he cannot achieve. So I will not give up on him. On us. I can't believe the whole conflict, the entire conflict of this game, is because of one dude just asking the wrong question. And losing his marbles because of that. Like, like. <sighs> you may find your world to be very different. Or perhaps the erasure of our friend's memories has sown the seeds of a conjunction between us. We cannot know until the moment is at hand. So shall I strive to do my best taking naught for granted as I walk my path. Yeah, but usually your one mistake isn't like snowballing in the fact that you're just like gonna kill everything that exists. Usually like a, a mistake, like uh, that's not how mistakes work. <laughs> really? And I pray you walk with me to the end. As you move forward, 
so too will I, as will all, resolved to fight for the morrow. And when mankind has found the strength to stand against despair... No, 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 no. The butterfly effect is if you start something and that is like gonna snowball into a lot of things. He literally is just one thing. He is just one singular thing. That is not the butterfly effect. The butterfly effect is something entirely different. That's like a lot of strings of separate things that like started somewhere and then like got bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like if you like throw like a stone into the water and like the the waves are getting bigger and bigger and bigger that's what that is this is literally just like one little thing that just exploded out of nowhere that's it his only question was like what's the meaning of life and then he got the answer that people are like apparently maniacs and like just love war and killing and that made him explode that wasn't the butterfly effect that is not what the butterfly effect is we shall silence the song of oblivion. She who sings it will learn our journey is far from over. This I promise. Fare you well, my light of the future. Till we meet again. I don't want to leave! Don't send me away! Oh no... Oh, I forget? What was that? Your rage broke your Wi-Fi? I'm sorry about that. I want to go back to the good times. There can't be more pain, can there? From this, From this day, day forth, forth, I shall strive, I shall strive to bring, bring honor, honor to the seat of Fandani. Oh, come on! <laughs> Don't show me this shit! Oh, this is terrible. We're like, oh god, don't show me how high flow dies. Please don't do that. Okay, she's summoning Hydaelyn, I guess. <laughs> Why would you send me here? I don't want to be here. Okay, Kat, you have to leave. I'm sorry, babe. Even now, I remember standing there, locked in a moment where the sky is aflame. Where stars fall as tears and screams darken the seas. Where resignation rots the trees. Where terror twists magics into abominations. Such is the lament of they who have gone before. The song of they who tried and failed to create a better world. The song of the end. Isn't that the song from Stormblood? Or was it Heaven Sore? No, 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 That which I, hides I at the look. edge of the universe is no longer hope's creation. Don't you dare. Don't it you dare. It is hopelessness incarnate. No, 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 why, 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 why are you still not staying with him? That day, mankind saw half of its number sacrificed to bring forth Zodiac. Oh, 
And covering the star in a shroud of ether, we forestalled the final days. Is that the reason you wanted to bring him back so badly? Because I understand I would do the fucking same! Yet the cries echoed still. We Fuck wept you. for innocence lost. Wailed for death inevitable. A reality too terrible to bear. And for too many, who sought comfort in gilded memories of joyful days and tranquil nights. This is all wrong! Why must we suffer so? It needn't be like this. No. There must be a way to restore things to the way they were. To reclaim the perfect paradise we once had. No, my friends. Suffering exists. And we cannot pretend otherwise. No civilization, however great, could eliminate it. If we would live, we must accept it as our constant companion. Let us not seek to forget this tragedy. Let us carry it in our hearts, that we may grow stronger and know true happiness. It's not exactly how depression works, sweetheart. You know... That's we can't accept it! We won't accept it! It will be ours again! A world free of sorrow! No, it will not! For there has ever been sorrow. Mankind was but spared its biting sting for a time. So please, open your eyes to try and reclaim those lives we lost by sacrificing yet more isn't wisdom. It is weakness. Technically, it was because of fictional man, because it was because no of her. Paradise is without its shadows. If we cannot accept this truth and learn from our pain, then our plight shall be repeated. I understand I would hate feeling the pressure too for the first time in my life. Oh mighty Zodiac! God born of our boundless faith! We bid you. Well, like, hear our prayer. Did they not summon it before Accept already? Accept this offering of lives and deliver unto us the lives we once had. Deliver unto us the days of old. The days when the star was a font of love and we knew. But how did all the others die? No, I understand the way they react to us. Reasonable. Actually, for the first time, reasonable reaction. But I'm confused, how did all the other people die? Because the mechas just, like, got bonkers? You would destroy it? Our beautiful world? Your world is a fucking mess, mate. Lands that stretched on forever. Skies one could drown in. The heartbeat of nature, silent yet strong. And amidst it all, a people. Beacons of light and life. Laughter that warmed my heart like naught else before. They are my meaning and my purpose my love i wish i could pause it In so i could talk to you guys 
Or perhaps because of this, I choose to believe in mankind's potential, in his ability to find a way forward. So let there be no way back. From that temptation, I sunder us. No more shall man have wings to bear him to paradise. Henceforth, he shall walk. Can I pause this now? I want to talk. I want to talk to understand, please. No, 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 I have the need to talk about this. All is excruciating pain. I breathe fire and torment. I birth a world of suffering to mire and plague. In one fleeting moment, lives come and go, ever moving towards the unknown. And in that fleeting moment, they cry for the answer to the question. Why, given life, are they meant to suffer, to die? As fragmented, imperfect beings, yours is a never-ending quest. A quest to find your purpose, knowing your end is assured. To find the strength to continue when all strength has left you. To find joy, even as darkness descends. And amidst deepest despair, light everlasting. A conjunction has begun to form, an intertwining of your time and mine. When you truly understand what is at stake, and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable, then shall I honor the promise made in another time, Thank you, another age. Give me a quick second. I'm being emotional right now. I think we're, I think we're through. Did we, did, did, did we get through the worst part? Are we over the emotional trauma?
Okay, are we done? Can I talk about this now? Because I have questions. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for your raid. Wait, sorry, I didn't see your name. Wait, 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 wait. Who was it? Brit Kaylee, you thank you so much for your raid. Welcome, everyone. I'm so sorry. We had emotional trauma. I just left Elpis. I might. I'm crying a bit. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for your raid. I love thank you, you lots for and your lots follow. And lots. My name's Sunny. Welcome, everyone. We're playing a lot of screenings games here, and we're being very emotional, as you can see. And I just like to traumatize myself with stuff. It's fine. It's okay. What were you playing? But I saw one of my mods actually gave you a shout out. Oh, you were playing 14. How far are you into 14? <laughs> Thank you, Isol. Goodbye, Isol. I just I just finished Alphas and I'm done with my life. I I I'm so done with my life. Okay guys, I have wait. I need I need to wait. I, I need to understand the cutscene right now. This was a lot. You were reacting to the fan fest stuff, I see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I, I just said that there's apparently a lot of spoilers, so I try to stay away from the fanfest stuff. <sighs> I didn't want you to leave, Alpus, I'll be completely honest. This is, this is emotionally traumatizing me a lot. Okay, wait, I... wait. I have, I have questions to the cutscene. There was so much that I saw, I... wait. <sighs> wait, wait, I, I, I need to rethink what we just saw here. So, did Hyphla leave Emmet to be sacrificed for the, the, the half planet sacrifice for Zodiac? Is that why Hyphla was like a goodbye mate and then just left? <gasps> That's the worst! That's the worst! Dude, I understand why Emmet was like, hey, I'm gonna bring back the world because i want my body back like i get it and it was even for nothing so he was summoned okay because chat was confusing me so much so he already was summoned because i was confused about that so when like heidelin or like what was her name venta ven vena ven 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 the, the, the girl you all call mommy i already forgot her name v vena i think it was vena so like when she went to i guess those were the other people from the convocation so when she went there zodiac was already summoned once wasn't he because they sacrificed two times i remember that they sacrificed once the first like people from the 13 and then they sacrificed a second time didn't they there were two sacrifices yes okay So Hyphla went there for the first sacrifice, so they could like summon Zodiac. And then Zodiac got rid of the final days, but then like shit went down and they wanted to sacrifice more. And then Venal went there without actually summoning... She is Hydaelyn, isn't she? But... Did she just remain in her body? Oh, he sacrificed himself for the second time. Okay. The one where, where Vena was like, yeah, I'm gonna thunder everything. Yeah, I, I, I know what the, what the original plan was. That's why they wanted to get the Sundered World back together. So that they can, like, you know, just sacrifice that other half to get their bodies back. I remember that. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not okay with the fact that High Flu sacrificed himself. I mean, like, he would be dead either way. This just makes it worse. Okay, so... And then... When she walked... She is Heidelin now, isn't she? She just remained in her own body. Oh, that 
was the first sacrifice. I thought that was the second. That was the first sacrifice. Oh. Oh, that makes so much more sense. So technically, Emmett would have gotten high flow back with that sacrifice. Yeah, rejoining makes us more more more. I that that we already had that discussion like way back ages ago. That that discussion I also understand because like we're like part of a soul yada yada with every warrior of light yada yada yada. I we we had that discussion a while back. I understand that part. I wasn't sure about this new information I got. So. I, I like the cat theory it it yeah it would be a cat that does that so when we saw the cutscene where i'm just gonna call her heidelin now because she is heidelin i guess i assume i somehow think so so when we saw the cutscene of heidelin walking the thing is i don't remember exactly how the hades fight was going did she possess us killing him or did you just watch us through her eyes killing him she was protecting i i need to replay the stupid hades fight with all the knowledge now this makes so much more sense it was just symbolic okay 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 why is she full of black goo is that just symbolic of her suffering? It's like poetry, it rhymes. Absolutely. Oh, oh it's blood. It looked like black like goo. Yeah, I feel like the ones who, who also get like the slight thingy stuffy apart sunder but not everyone because like this has been so long ago because she was bleeding but, like it's it still remains that it's symbolic for her suffering to help the age rating get low yeah probably yeah, yeah yeah it's fine it's okay it's okay it's the symbolic is i guess the same that she suffered Okay, okay, okay. I, I gotta rewatch this cutscene again because this was so much information in like so little time. So, technically, they were already ready. Oh, that also makes so much more sense that they were talking about the suffering and shit. But like, the world was still ending when they like wanted to sacrifice more to get their bodies back. I thought the world would be whole at that point. Wasn't that the whole gist about it? That that Zodiac is saving their world and shit? Why was it still on the brink of dying? Because like, that would make no sense to just sacrifice more people when the world is still not back to how it was. I, I think the carrots are our least problem at this point. Oh, I was still messed up. Okay. He got summoned. Stops the final days. Yeah. Then I do the second sacrifice to seed new life. Yes, I get that. And then I wanted to have like the third sacrifice to get the people back that got sacrificed the other time. But I'm still a tiny bit confused about the fact like... What, what was the second sacrifice for then? Because apparently the world wasn't like fixed. It was still shit. No, that was the first sacrifice. They had two final days? 
What? Yeah, second was to bring back the life. But like they already had the second sacrifice. And apparently it did shit. Okay, let, let, let me just let me just collect the things how I understood. We have the very first sacrifice where they summon Zodiac. The first time shit went down and like uh, their the mecha things like got haywire. And that's when like people from the convocation sacrificed themselves to uh, summon Zodiac. And that's how like some of the seeds got like sundered later on. Then they had the second sacrifice where they sacrificed half their people, including High Flow, to get back the life to the world. And the one we saw now was supposed to be the first sacrifice to bring like these two sacrifices back, but the world was still ending there. So I don't completely understand what the first sacrifice would have done properly because like it would be cool that their buddies are back but they would like still die. Yeah, they didn't want the sundering, I know. That had that had nothing to do with the sacrifices. They didn't know sunderings existed. Yeah, and the second one was to bring the life back to the planet. And then when there was enough life, they wanted to like sacrifice like that part of that to get their bodies back. That's how I understood it. That's how they explained it, I think, so far. But this cutscene made no sense because the world outside was, like, still... dying? So, why would they already, like, do the first sacrifice? Because I understood that was the second sacrifice. I understood they never even got to the third part. No, no, I think, I think we're talking next to each other. I think you, you don't completely understand what I am confused about. Look, look, look. I understand what the first sacrifice was to do. I understand what the second sacrifice was to do. And I understand what the first sacrifice was to do. What I don't understand is that the cutscene we just had right now, where uh, Hydaelyn went ahead and was like sundering the world, I don't completely understand how could that be the first sacrifice because the world was still ending. Like why would they just do the first sacrifice when like they didn't even fix the second one? From my understanding that one looked like it was a second sacrifice because Highflow also literally just left Emmet and Hydaelyn was walking next to him like next to Emmet and went in there and for me it looked like A. Hey, they already did the second sacrifice, shit went haywire, and Hydling was like, yeah, okay, we're gonna thunder shit now, because, like, we can't do this. You could see in the background that, like, the stars and everything was still falling. I love you lots and lots and lots. Hi, Fire Furry. <laughs> I even have cats. I can offer you real cats. They're, they're, they're sleeping over there. But wasn't the whole plan to, like, get their people back when the world is back in order? It is like on the second sacrifice, isn't it? The third one would make no sense. And then she starts thundering. Yeah, my understanding is they had the first sacrifice where they summoned Zodiac. Then... They were preparing for the second sacrifice to like bring life back to the planet where Hyde, where Hyflo just left and then you see how Hydaelyn tries to reason with I think the, the, the other half of the convocation and they were like I am not listening to you I am depressed and I hate being depressed and so they like started because like they already started the second sacrifice so they probably went through with that and then she was like yeah okay um you guys are not to be reasoned let's rewatch this cutscene uh this one no, no no don't spoil stuff to me i just this cutscene confuses me 
That, that, that's all. This cutscene is very confusing because the background makes it seem like it is still the final days. And I think that's what confuses my head because I can't put it like in the right time. And I think that's the reason why I'm being like, I'm, I'm gonna read up on it, don't worry. I'm gonna read up on it until next week. Because I wanna know what the hell is happening there. Uh, where do I have to go? Look, look, I'm... Oh. I have to go somewhere entirely. I'll have to go to Shalian! Oh, shit. I have to go to my friends, I guess. Okay, let, let us finish this up. Let us finish this up. Okay, here we go. <sighs> to my friends in the now time. At least my companion is still here, yeah. Yay. At least something, I guess. Hey guys, I'm back and I have more trauma than before. Thanks, impeccable timing as always. I'd heard you were off on the first as part of our efforts to investigate the final days. Well, as so often seems to be the case, while you were away, it had some few developments. Which we can discuss in just a moment. For now, however, I cannot tell you how wonderful it is to have you back. Yeah, this is going to be it for today. Okay, this is it for today.